Welcome back to GCN's coverage of the Tour of Oman. Searing hot temperatures welcome the riders for stage two, but at least this youngster knows how to stay cool. Certainly a lot cooler than Matt Stevens looks in a baseball cap. Check this out. Andrea Guardini was out to try and keep his leader's jersey for another day, but it certainly wouldn't be easy for him. A couple of nasty climbs at the back end of the stage could force the first major selection of the race. As the race departed Al Hazm Castle, there was once again attacks as soon as the flag was dropped. Eventually, a four man group went clear Gatis Smukalis of Katusha, Enrico Barbine of Bardiani CSF, and the top sport Vlandren duo of Jeff van Meyerhager and Praben van Heck. Van Heck is the breakaway king of this race, having made the break no less than three times last year. The quartet built their lead quickly up to about five minutes, while Astana set to work at the front of the peloton to stabilise the gap. A hotly contested first intermediate sprint was edged by Van Meyerhager, who is quickly staking his claim for the most aggressive rider in the race. As the day wore on, temperatures soared above 35 degrees, and more heat was placed on the breakaway after an untimely puncture for Barbine saw him drop back to the bunch. As Van Meyerhager led the trio over the second sprint point at kilometre 143, the gap was starting to come down to around 4 minutes. As the race went into the valleys with about 20 kilometres to go, Smukalis went alone while behind the pressure was increased as the peloton crested the first peak of Al Hamria. A furious chase from Movistar meant it wasn't long before the race was back together. Despite the frantic pace, Neopro Dylan Tiens of BMC led a crucial attack over the undulating roads just before the final climb of Algisa. This short, punchy climb made the selection of just 19 riders over the top, and from there it was downhill all the way to the finish. BMC had managed to get four men in the group, but only Greg Van Avermaet could contest the sprint. Peter Sagan was on his wheel and looked well positioned to make the crucial move, but the wily Fabian Cancellara had timed things to perfection on the short kick to the line and just edged Alejandro Valverde for the win, the photo finish confirming just how close it was. Here are the stage results then from ProCyclingStats.com, with the top 10 perhaps more notable for the riders that aren't in there. Race leader Guardini, Vincenzo Nibali and Joaquim Rodriguez all failed to make the group of 19 and lose serious time in the general classification. Cancellara takes the red jersey for now, with Alejandro Valverde 4 seconds behind. With Van Garderen, Arredondo and Rafael Maika all within 10 seconds of the race lead, the GC battle looks sure to be an interesting one. Join us tomorrow for Stage 3, which on paper looks to be another one for the sprinters.